patrons and hello youtubers if you are watching this reading somewhere down the line if you're not a patron of mine uh i encourage you to become a patron and do monthly giveaways just for my patrons you are automatically entered into those giveaways uh if you are a patron also if you'd like to book a private reading coaching or consultation session check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below as well as for the patreon information all right so let's jump into our reading this reading is what do you have to heal so what is it that you have to heal what have you been putting on the back burner or putting back to the back of your mind uh, that you haven't been wanting to deal with or you felt that you've dealt with and there's some more work to be done all right so today you have three cards to uh, choose from this is card number one card number two card number three again card one card two card three so a true pick a card reading pause this video uh see which of the cards resonate with you uh keep in mind these are general messages not all of the message will resonate maybe only some of it will resonate take what resonates leave what doesn't and come back when you're ready for your reading but let's jump into it with our very first push these over to the side our very first card card number one let's see what the overall energy what is it that you have to heal Ooh. so we got peaceful among thorns interesting so let's see which ones do i want to use let's use these you know, give me more insight what is it that card number one has to heal so you could be looking for peace energy that i'm getting off of this something about this feels like restlessness and this feels like two moons so i'm just using this car uh this deck for the first time so i don't know if this goes into moon phases or not but i'm getting the image of two moons i feel like i feel like you're looking for peace i feel like maybe other people's energies or problems may pose as a problem for you at times you might like to meditate or you might be looking to meditate more that's the universe you want inside what is it that pile card number one has to heal So we have the full card. I feel like for some of you, you might find it difficult to take leaps of faith or wanting to take a leap of faith. You might feel a bit restrict, restricted as well, especially with that peace among thorns. It feels more so like trying to make the best out of a bad situation, trying to find the, the sunshine amongst the rain. We have the nine of swords that came out in the reverse finding peace among the thorns we have the knight of swords so i feel like this deals with a with, with a person that you haven't spoken to in a while this could be a friendship or this could be family i feel like there's some unresolved issues there um in regards to maybe yeah glossing over it that's what that feels like uh we got the queen of pentacles that came out in the upright so this could be some sort of motherly um feminine energy some mentor or someone of a who is older than you that's what i'm getting with that i feel like there's a broken relationship it could be with an aunt it could be with a cousin it could be with a mother you know a mentor a sister where it feels like the relationship is is kind of rocky to be honest peace among the thorns and it may not be easy, but you love this person. This person may be reluctant to change, too. You have the judgment card that came out in the reverse. It looks like something you're hiding. You have the hair font that came out in reverse. This person could be a, um, a Taurus. And then we have the Ten of Swords. So you're currently, I feel like for some of you, what do you need to heal? This is a relationship. A relationship with a family member or someone who's significant in your life. Uh, feminine energy an earth sign of some sort. I feel like things may have fallen apart between the two of you maybe some time ago and you have yet to amend whatever that is that fell apart. That's what that feels like. And I feel like you're not settled in, in this. It's like, okay, so the two of you aren't talking at the moment, but you're not settled in the fact that there's some unfinished conversation or unfinished business or unfinished hurt that's still related to that. That's what I'm getting with that. 
All right, card number one, you all let me know your thought, how you felt about that in the comment section below. Um, if you're not a patron or if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, or consultation session with me, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below. And let's move on. Also, like, comment, share, subscribe if you feel compelled to. Let's move on to card number two. So card number two, what is it that you have to heal? Ooh, my body, the temple of my body. Wow. So for some of you, automatically what I'm getting is you might have an issue with overindulgence. It could be in substances. It could be with food. It could be with sex. It could be just self-image. That's what I'm getting. Um, insecurities. Maybe you have to work on. I feel like maybe you take out on yourself uh, the trauma that you experience with others. So I'm doing with that, but the temple of your body or treating your body like a temple. Let's see, universe. You need to channel messages. What does this have to do with healing for card number two? What is it that they have to heal? What is it that card number two has to heal? Universe. What is it that card number two has to heal? Universe. What is it that card number two has to heal? Let's see. We have the Wheel of Fortune that came out in the upright. So some karmic energy, most definitely with this Wheel of Fortune. Then we have the Marketplace. I feel like this has to do with a lot of different energies, a lot of different influences. For whatever reason, this also is giving me like school vibes. Maybe you dealt with some trauma, you know, bullying when you were in school. If you're currently in school, you know, I'm also getting comparisons to other people. Maybe you compare yourself a lot in those regards. But we have the four swords that came out in the reverse. For whatever reason, I got uh, mental, physical wellness. Maybe some of you are in a gym. We have the world card that came out in the upright. We have the two of wands that came out in the upright. We have the hermit card that came out in the upright. And then we have the Three of Cups that came out in reverse. So this has to do with, with drawing from the influence of others. Uh, option number two. That's what I'm getting with that. You could be a Virgo or you could be a fire sign. We got a lot of that or something about water sign is coming through too with that world card. But I feel like with... This is something about getting away from the crowd. Getting away from comparisons. Or wanting to shed comparisons to other people or what's beautiful what's hot what's this what's that in regards to what other people feel other people think this is also a wanting to to take care of self better or more there's a quote that's coming to mind is you know treat yourself like someone that you love and i feel like that relates to you option number two like maybe you tend to neglect yourself at times or you don't feel like you're lovable or you give out to other people what you wish would come back to you without realizing that hey if you give that to you there you go that's what I get with that with this two of wands I feel like there's a looking outward once again there's a looking out towards other people even with this wands there's a looking out towards other people in their examples thinking that you know maybe they're living that best life when really you know looking out towards the world it's already there within you. Look at that four of wands. It's already there within you. This is definitely a need for you to focus more on self, self-image more so. Uh, whether that's your body, maybe that's just your outlook. But this is about needing to focus on self, stripping those illusions and comparisons to other people and what's out there in the world, healing whatever karmic energy. Because uh, I feel like two you might come across a lot of different energies that echo back somewhat of the same abuse or just you know craziness that you echo in your own mind and then we have yeah the three of cups in reverse so for some of you this is overindulging it's essentially you know destroying the body slowly simply because of other hurts that you're taking on or or needing to do you know or address the shadow what's in your shadow one and then doing said shadow work that's what i'm getting for you option number two so option number two you all let me know how you thought about this reading in the comment section below uh give this video a like comment share subscribe if you care to if you're watching this on 
YouTube down the line. And if you're watching this on Patreon, thank you. And if you're not a patron, become one. Uh, and if you'd like to become one, as well as book a private reading culture or consultation session with me, check the pinned comment below as well as the description box below. And let's move into our last option, option number three. So let's see. Envious gluttony. Ooh. Oh my gosh. And this does look like the moon phases. Look at that image. Is that a wolf in sheep's clothing? Oh, this is about being fake. This is about being jealous. This is about overindulgence as well. Ooh, interesting. Let's see. Universe, give me more. That's a lot to have to heal. A desire of wanting to be complete with that number nine. Universe, give me channel messages for option number three. What is it that they have to heal? Who does this involve? I feel like this involves somebody. You might be jealous of a friend. What is it that this person has to heal the universe? What is it that this person has to heal the universe? Give me one more. What is it that this person has to heal? Ooh, now this is interesting. We got the Ace of Cups that came out in the reverse. Yeah, this has to do with matters of the heart. Uh, for some of you, hmm, there's some anger there too. Friendships, love relationships. I'm here, inauthentic self. We have the two of swords that came out in the reverse. For some of you, something about moving. You had to move and didn't want to. We have the queen of fire. You could be someone that's very popular, but I feel like you're wearing a false mask. I'm hearing mask off, mask off. And then I feel like you're easily tempted to, like this reminds me of Eve and the snake in the garden, you know, tempting her to bite the apple and then her biting, um, her biting Adam, she maybe bit Adam and her tempting Adam to bite the apple as well, or, you know, influencing Adam rather to type the, well, temptation isn't an influence. I feel like you're easily influenced by others. You're easily fooled by others. You see what's going on in others' lives and you believe it is truth. So needing to heal comparisons. I feel like you could be someone who's very hurtful, harmful, and rude towards others. There's some selfish energy there. There's some childish energy there. Maybe you were ignored a lot as a kid. I feel like this comes out and it's due to the result of what you dealt with as a kid. We have the four of swords that came out in the upright. There's stagnant energy there. So the things that you want to come to pass in your life, option number three, it's very much doable, but you have to be the one to actually make the movement. You're comfortable being uncomfortable, and that's the problem. We have the lover's card that came out in the reverse. So yeah, definitely, I feel like you've even had some jealousy within your romantic connections. But life is an echo. Life is mirroring back out to you what you're putting out to it. This is a case of hurt people hurting people. And I feel like you have a lot of hurt that's going on. Uh, option number three, that you try to mask, that you try to hide. But it comes out with certain people, people you perceive you don't need. Which, once again, we have to watch how we treat others even when nobody's around, nobody's watching. Because the universe always has their eye, you know, the eye on us. And then we have... The two of earth, you're feeling uninspired too. Um, imbalanced, uninspired, non-creative. You envy the creation in other people. You might have it out with somebody who's an earth sign as well. Or you could be an earth sign. You could be an air sign. I'm getting that energy. Strong. Earth or air. But yeah, this has to do with comparisons. This has to do with jealousy on your end. Now, remember, if this isn't your story, you're going to take it, but that's what I'm picking up in this energy. It has to do with jealousy on your end. And I'm seeing you as someone successful, as someone who gets a lot of attention, but it's a facade. You're unhappy, and it's like you're holding on for that, for dear life. That's what I'm getting with that. So this is what I got in regards to what you need to heal, what you need to look into. All right, patrons, I thank you so much for you all tuning in. If you're not a patron, become a patron of mine. Or if you'd like to book a private reading, coaching, and consultation session, check the pin comment below as well as the description box below for that information. And give this video a like, a comment, a share, a subscribe if you care to. And I'll be seeing you all in the next one. Peace and blessings. Goodbye.